Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sari and you are watching my knitting podcast videos. Today I have a lot of things that I want to show you. I've been knitting a lot uh, in the past few weeks. I had another flu, so I haven't really done anything except um, knit and watch Netflix for the past few weeks, like I said, but I'm um, now, now I'm feeling better. Hopefully I will stay healthy for the rest of the spring. This winter I have been more often sick than I usually am. I think it's been years that I have had a really bad flu and this year I've already had three. So I'm really hoping that it's all behind me now and, and I can get back to my normal work. Um, like I said, I've been knitting a lot, but um, I haven't done really anything else for the past few weeks, so I haven't written any patterns. For example, I had the book club cardigan pattern almost finished. I still have to write out the sleeves and then it would be ready for test knitting. For, but for the past two weeks, I, my head has been um, all over the place, so I haven't really had to... Um, it's space to write any patterns. Also, I have finished a couple of new things that I should write the pattern for, but um, well, today I've been writing some patterns and hopefully I will get them done uh, next week. So I will have the book club cardigan ready for test knitting next week. So if you want to test knit for me, I usually call for my test knits in my um, Instagram story. So um, remember to follow me on Instagram and check my stories, especially if I have said that there's going to be um, new test knits coming. So I usually put them there. there. There's going to be a link to a Google Forms that you can fill and then my assistant Emma will be picking the test knitters so that we have enough test knitters for each size. So that's how I usually do it nowadays. But anyway, book up cardigan, hopefully in the beginning of next week, um, ready for a test meeting. And I also have, for example, the Mila top that I knitted, that I should also write the pattern for, and then have it um, test knitted. So I'm hoping I can get the pattern written next week. But like I said, I have quite a lot of things here that I want to show you. I have a lot of uh, whips also here next to me. But um, I could start with the sweater that I'm wearing. This is something that I released today. So this is the Purpura pullover. And it's not actually um, a new design. Uh, it's already a few years old. I made it for Pom Pom Quarterly. It was actually first a t-shirt and then now I, this year I decided to turn it into a long sleeved version as well and just posted both of the designs on, on Ravelry and in my Shopify shop. So both the t-shirt is now individually available as well as this uh, pullover. So if you want to get the pullover pattern or the t-shirt pattern, use the code PURPURA in my Ravelry shop or in my Shopify shop and you will get a 20% discount and it's valid until April 1st. So if you want to get this pattern with, with the discount, then use the code PURPURA. PURPURA actually means like burgundy in Finnish and the original t-shirt version that I made was that color, so that's how it got its name. Um, this one was knitted by my sample knitter and it's with um, Woolbury Fiber Company's yarn. This is the Homestead base, uh, Homestead color and uh, it's a very cashmere DK yarn. So this is the yarn that um, this sweater is knitted with, and like I said, I didn't knit it myself. I have my sample knitter fit for me, so here you can see how it looks like. 
so full length sleeves and here's the body and it has this uh, lace and bubble pattern over the yoke but I broke the instructions so that if you don't like making bubbles you can of course leave them out and make it without the bubbles. So it's in top down seamlessly. It has a bit of short rows for the back shaving so that the back is slightly longer than the front and that improves the fit of the sweater. So but this is the long sleeve version and the original uh, t-shirt version is now also available on Ravelry and in my Shopify shop. I think it came out already two years ago but then I don't know last summer I was so busy with the final touches of my book that I didn't have time to to release the individual pattern when I got the rights back last summer for the t-shirt I didn't have time to release that but now it's finally here and I absolutely love the sweater version as well I'm kind of like thinking maybe in the, in the fall I will make um, this one also with a hint of mohair so it has like this light hazy look if I add more hair to it but I also like this like crisp um, tight twisted merino I think the stitch definition is amazing for for this one so this is the newly released purpura pullover that I'm, I'm wearing the next things that I'm going to be releasing is of course the ballard pullover I actually have it here next to me just grab it from the hanger So this is the Ballard pullover, so I will be releasing this pattern next week and also with the matching Ballard t-shirt. My sample leader is making the t-shirt for me, so I don't have it with me yet, but I will show it to you as soon as I get it, but this is something that is currently still being tested and I'm releasing the pattern probably next week, I think. So this is something that I started making um, when I was in Seattle uh, in January and I named it after the Ballard neighborhood which I thought was really nice. So it had all these like hipster cafes and little boutiques and it was very walkable and really cute area. So I wanted to name, name the sweater after it and I also made a matching Ballard vest so this is also currently being test knitted so this has the same cable pattern as the Ballard pullover and for this one I used Bisigarn Alino it was the first time that I used this yarn so this is the colorway 0 and it's a decay weight 50% uh, cotton 50% linen yarn i really liked it they have a lot of nice colors so i'm probably going to use it for something else this summer as well so this is the the top and i added like an eye card etching to the armholes and the neck and i really like the hem um still have some yarns to be in like i always have it's my it's not really my um I don't dislike it, but it's usually at the moment when um, I should weave in the yarn ends. I'm already making everything else and I also always have a really hard time getting back to um, things that I have kind of like always already finished that I should go back to them and do something to them. But yeah, I like the hem. I was first going to make it like um, a bit of... Um, uh, stockinette stitch here and then then I'd make the fold but I really like it like this so the pattern goes all the way down to the hem and then I made a fold and it has a bit of stockinette stitch over here so it doesn't have any ribbing I don't really like making ribbing for summer patterns mm, especially if the yarn is um, like for example this cotton linen blend it's not stretchy at all so for summer patterns because you wear it closer to your skin you sweat there's like sunscreen everything and um, especially the bottom hem if you like tucking it in your pants or, or skirt like I like then um, 
the hem is going to stretch and and if it's not like a stretchy yarn like Marina that bounces back it's going to flare and that has happened to quite a many of my summer tops I should like undo the hems and make the redo them again with like smaller needles and lighter binds or bind offs so that's why I like making these folded hems I think they're a bit sturdier they don't flare as easily so um, especially like how this turned out that um cable pattern goes all the way down to the hem it doesn't really have like a ripping or or a bottom edge at all so this is the ballard vest it's currently being test knitted and i'm planning to release the pattern in um early may so that's the plan like one of the first summer patterns for this year i really like making summer things um i've always been like a summer more summer person even though I'm born in December um, I feel like I'm more alive in the summer and this time of the year even though we still have uh, a bit of snow in in places where um, either we have like shoveled a lot of snow in the winter away from the, the road or if they're like uh, on the northern, northern side of the house or in the shadow there's still some snow and a lot of ice but spring is definitely coming and at this time when it's still cold outside I still wear a hat and a winter coat when I go outside it's so nice to cast on like summer things and start making those and kind of like dreaming of summer already even though summer is not here yet so I've been making a lot of summer things and this is the Mila top that I already showed to you. I actually made this like really quickly. It was the first week that I had the flu so I didn't really have energy to do anything else except sit on the sofa and knit and this uh, came along quite quickly. Again I have yarn ends to weave in. I think the longest uh, that it took for this uh, top was to make the double knitted um, edges for for the armholes and the neck but um, I think they're definitely worth it they look very polished and and um, give it a really nice nice um, look and like a finished touch so here's the Mila top so it's a matching pattern to my Mila cardigan and my Mila pullover that I released a few weeks ago and if you have been watching my previous episodes you have seen a lot of those two designs so this um, it has the same cable pattern as the Mila pullover and, and Mila cardigan but other than that it's like a totally different pattern so it only the only similarity is the, um, the same cable pattern but um, kind of had to calculate and write it again from from the scratch when I start writing the pattern for this one but I have graded all the sizes I have everything all the math calculated out I, ju I should just like work the rhythm pattern from my my excel um, excel file excel calculations um, the yarn that I used for this one is from we are knitters let's see if I brought it here with me yes it's here so it's the cotton from we are knitters this is the natural colorway it's kind of like off-white but it's not actually white it's more like um, light beige um, cream color yarn it was really nice cotton yarn to work with I'm definitely going to use it for something else as well I bought it from Madrid when I went there in February so they have a We Are Meters shop in the city center of Madrid and I bought the yarn from there so this is the Mila top and for this one I first made um, a folded hem but the yarn is a bit thicker than, than the Alina that I used for um, the Ballard vest so I undid that and like it, it became too thick 
and didn't like set very nice so I undid that and I did a ribbing for this but instead of doing a tubular bind off that I usually do I made like a regular bind off for this so I hope I'm hoping it's a bit sturdier than the tubular bind off and helps with with flaring so just a Mila vest and let's see if I can I'll write the pattern next week so it's ready for test knitting or latest week after that so very soon anyway um, before I forget I have a couple of uh, events that are coming up um, first of all I will be in Philadelphia at the end of May it's um, the Memorial Day weekend and I will be there for Nitopia um, weekend and it's a three-day event um, with a lot of courses so there's, go there's going to be a couple of other um, teachers in addition to me I will be teaching first of all uh, a cable course um, mainly uh, concentrating on decreasing and increasing in cable patterns uh, but I will also have five different uh, project-based classes so if you want to check out those I will post a um, website link to the Vitopia Philadelphia event below this video so all the yarn names all the pattern way names um, pattern names colorway names um, everything that I mentioned in this video will be I will write them down uh, below this video so you go to the description section below this video and there's like everything all the yarn names colorway names links to patterns and links to my Instagram and so on you find everything in the description so you don't have to try to figure out everything that I say and the Nitopia Philadelphia event link will be there and you can read about all the courses and and the whole event so I will be there it's going to be uh, really fun to meet everybody I'm looking forward to meeting everybody and meeting with you and chatting with you and um, I will be teaching uh, a Tahka cardigan course, a Ruka pullover course, um, a poetry pullover course, um, a Diana pullover as well as moonflower, um, not moonflower, moon river cable hat uh, course and for example the moon river cable hat it's top down hat so I will be uh, teaching you how to start a hat from top down and how to knit the cables, how to knit all the increases, um, how to knit cables without cable needles and so on. So all the techniques you need for those patterns will be taught in, in the, in the uh, classes. So if any of those interest you, I hope to see you in, in um, Philadelphia. And also if you are in Helsinki on the 13th of uh, April we are going to have a little um, like a yarn um, like stash sale event. Um, I'm going to bring all my leftover yarns there. There's also going to be Kutokika like Veronica and um, Leni, my friend Leni and my friend Subi and we are going to be at uh, our publisher Cozy's um, office and we have all our leftover yarns there that you can shop and also Cozy is going to bring all our books so Kika's book and my book and Lenny's book and Sophie's book so they are all going to be there so if you want to come and browse the yarns browse the books meet us um, maybe sit there for a while and knit as well so uh, I will post the address date and times below this video as well for the, the um, stash sale event in, in two weeks on Saturday but yeah that's what I wanted to say let's go back to my knitting uh, in my previous video I was talking about hosting the poet and uh, Pohjola knit alongs they are still running we still have a couple of weeks left in the Put um, a knit along so if you want to get any of the poet patterns you can get them with 20% um, discount until 
April 19th with the code POET. Uh, the code is valid both on Ravelry and in my Shopify shop. And you can use that for the Poet Pullover, Poetry Pullover, Poetry Pullover, uh, Poet Socks or Poet Shawl. And I have spent um, the last couple of weeks making two new additions to the Poet family. So there's going to be a Poet Tea that I just finished and you can see it here. It's this one and for this one I used no I brought the yarn up with me from downstairs but where did I put it over here so this is from Terrero Natura it's a Penelope and uh, the colorway is called Crepuscule I have no idea how to pronounce that correctly but over there and it's a really nice DK weight yarn and is the wet, wet t-shirt. Looking forward to the weather getting a bit warmer so I get to start wearing all of these beautiful things that I have made. So this is the poet t-shirt and then I have the poet top. It's over here. So this one this is a sleeveless top and looks looks like this and it's currently being test knitted so I'm planning to release both of these patterns on April 19th so I'm taking advantage of um, uh, Taylor Swift's new upcoming album. It's called The Tortured Poets uh, Department. So of course I have to have a couple of new poet designs for that. Um, I also started a second poet top. So there's the very be beginnings of my second poet. Top. So I'm making this like light light blue version of the same same design as this one and this is some Mescarn Tun Line and the colorway number is 6032 up oh, there so it's a fingering weight yarn that I'm using for that and also for the Pohyola knit along so here's my second Pohyola pullover coming up and I finished the yoke as you can see and now I'm working on the on the body and here's the the color work part. I really like these colors especially the olive green that's like one of my absolute favorite colors ever uh, i'm using sunday morning four ply from sunder yarn company this is the colorway staycation and we also have um offline which is this gray one and and a muddy Betty, which is the purple one over there so i'm um, still going to have a bit of um, color work for the sleeves and I'm looking for that but the body is going to be just just um, stuck in a stitch I'm going to uh, see the new Dune movie on Saturday so I'm probably taking this with me so it's just like uh, for the body just stuck in a stitch so I have a couple of hours in the movie theater to work on so I have to have something mindless that I don't have to watch and stocking at stage is something that I can just mechanically knit. I have my original Pohyal pullover over here. Unfortunately the yarn that I used for this one is discontinued so that's why I'm loving the new version that I'm making. So if you want to get the Pohyola pullover also with a 20% discount, use the code Pohyola. 
in my rivalry shop or on Shopify and you get you will get a 20% discount on the Pohyo pullover pattern uh, until the end of April and I will post the um, rubbery groups for both knitter lungs below this video so you can check that out from there if you want to join our knit alongs. I also started to make another pohila and I'm almost done with the color work. As you can see I have the final few rounds left. The main color is going to be this um, dark blue so it's going to transition into the dark blue and this is actually going to be a t-shirt version so it's not going to have long sleeves but um, short sleeves like more summer version I tried to pick a, a more summer yarn for this so I'm using Sunnes Garn Sunday for this version and instead of using uh, three colors I added a fourth color over here but still there's no rows that have uh, four colors at the same time so the maximum is still three colors at the same same time but here you can see this one and I kind of love how different it looks with uh, more contrast in the pattern compared to this one that has a lower contrast between the colors and also this has a um, more crisper uh, stitch definition than this one so that also makes the colors and, and the stitches pop out more but I, I'm always astounded uh, how different patterns look like when you change the colors so it's almost like a new totally new design the yarn that I'm using for this one is um, like I said it's there from um, Sunday's Garn and it's the Sunday, it's the fingering with merino yarn from them. This is the colorway 5591 and for the color pattern this is the combination that I, I used and this is colorway 1015, 3072 and 5012. So this is the complete combination of everything that I used for this one. And of course this is going to be a short sleeved sweater so there's not going to be uh, any more color work after this. So then it's going to be just plain um, navy blue from now on. No color work on the sleeves so I'm going to have very short sleeves for this one. And another thing that I cast it on um, uh, from an older design, so last year I made this um, salt croquen t-shirt. It's a very simple, minimalistic um, yoke sweater, a uh, yoke t-shirt, circular yoke t-shirt with stripes, but I wanted to make a similar one but it's going to be a unicolor version of that. So here's the beginning. I made the first two increases on the yoke. And for this one, I'm using the same yarn that I used for, for this uh, t-shirt last summer. So this is uh, 3 or 2 from Isagar. And this is the colorway khaki. It's a really beautiful brownish a green color and now this is going to be something that I will be using a lot in the summer. They also had a really nice like, dark brown color in the same same yarn so I'm probably going to make one more of the unicolor salt crocons but with, with the dark brown color. Two more things uh, here that I want to show you in this episode. One of them is this one, another summer top. So I wanted to do something very simple and um, with a bit larger needles. 
I'm calling this Sierra top at the moment, but it's a working title, so it still might change. So this is also going to have an eye cord edge, both to the neck and also the armholes. And I'm using Knitting for Olives Pure Silk for this one in two different colors. This is the Galway Wheat and this is the Dark Cognac. So this is the combination for, for this one. I'm working it on 5mm needles so it grows really quickly. It's going to have a bit lower neck on the front than on the back. And then I'm going to do a double folded hem. So it's going to be very minimalistic. And I'm already thinking about um, another color combination for this one. I should go to my local yarn shop that sells um, Knitting for Olives yarns and um, play with the colors a bit to find a really nice match. But Knitting for Olives Pure Silk is one of my favorite summer top yarns, as you might have noticed. If you have been following me for a longer time, it's really nice to wear in the summer. It's not hot at all and also it keeps its shape very well. It doesn't peel at all, so I really like using the pure silk for summer designs. So I want to make another one of these. Uh, I already have so many um, outfits planned for this. I like the the marled fabric that it produces. But you could also do it like unicolor, just either use a thicker yarn or just combine two of the same color together. I will probably do that version as well, as well as another um, another marled top like this. I bought this color from Knitting for All of This is also pure silk. It's a really beautiful. This is the brown bear colorway. And it's like the color of um, like really, uh, it's like a really dark espresso, very, very dark brown, almost like black. Um, I'm planning to use this like held double for a Mila, another Mila top. But instead of making the V neck, I was thinking about having it open in the front and having uh, buttons. So it's kind of like a, a vest instead of um, a V neck top. So I'm going to use these for that. And the last thing I wanted to show you is my new raglan blower. Like I said, I'm all about knitting summer patterns at the moment, but I had um, an idea to cast on another raglan cable pullover, and um, this yarn is too good to well, save until next fall, so I wanted to start knitting it with it already. So this is from the Lamb and Kid. I visited their shop when I was in, in Seattle. So they have a shop on the Bainbridge Island. Definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. And this is the Todd DK yarn. It's 65% um, yak, 35% cashmere. It's super nice. It's so soft. It's really nice to work with. And the color is called Window Pane. And I started this Rakon Kipple Pullover. It's going to have long sleeves. So it has this little kipple pattern on both sides of the front as well as on the sleeves. And then there's this textured uh, raspberry stitch here in the in the middle you can see over here as well as on the sleeves and I just separated the sleeves from the body and now I'm working on the body and then it's going to have a long long sleeves it still doesn't really have a name I was thinking about Seattle Fog 
for it, but it's still a working title, so I'm not yet sure if it's going to be Seattle Fog. But I really like that name, so it might stay a Seattle Fog pullover. And also because the yarn is from Seattle. So this is everything that I have been making at the moment. Um, like I said, a lot of knitting lately, less of everything else, so less pattern writing and and um, less YouTube and and I think I've been just um, really lazy on Instagram as well, using old photos or just like really quick snaps of everything I make. But um, hopefully next week I'm ready to start working with more patterns again. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, remember to subscribe to my channel so you will always get a notification when I put out a new video. And I will be filming another video next week. I have a couple of things to show you. And um, until that, bye!